So, y'all want to know why we all equal? We all equal because of temptation. Temptation makes everybody equal. It don't matter how much light you got in you. The more your energy rises, the more the temptation shows itself. So, if we look at athletics in general, anybody using their body or the bringing the tissue from with I mean bringing the blood which is the light from within to the tissue taking the blood from the organs and from the within from the void your blood is coming from the void so as you as you uh, provoke it or invoke it out of out of the void from the organs into the tissue into the density bringing the light into the flesh into a carnal activity the more imbalanced you become, if you don't if you don't know how to how to uh, nourish the organs, if you don't know how to stop and breathe and reset, and that's another thing too as far as people breathing, the best thing to do as far as people getting behind on their breath, the best way to know is if you just stop breathing. If you ever forget about breathing or think about breathing or whatever. If you stop the breath and hold it, then you'll see where, how, like how much is in your lungs, and then you can fully exhale, and then exhaling allows you to get rid of the stale thoughts because air regulates thought, and emotion is dense thought like water is dense air. So my point being basically that temptation is what binds us all with why everybody's perfect for their path. It's like you know the more energy you have, the more temptation. The more light you have, the, the more glow off of your light. So that all reflects back at you in various ways throughout your life. So you, um, you what's the name? You have, you have a greater, you have a greater challenge as far as temptation. So it all balances out. And I know all, all, um, bodies in general should take care of their light or what you want to call melanin or carbon or whatever, what have you, ultraviolet radiation. We should all take care of the light. And if you are heavily melanated, your body is like the Lamborghini of bodies. It's like the the super, super, super exotic whip as far as, as, far as light is concerned. Because there's just more diversity. So it's, it's more... Uh, it's more it's more maintenance on that on that light. You have to stay on top of that. If you if you have a bunch of manifestation power and you get up on top of your breathing and then you succumb to adverse thinking and adverse behaviors, all that manifestation power will manifest into the offensive and your will will go from inside of you to outside of you so rapidly because you have so much momentum. Say like you are in a in a great state of momentum, like whether you're a leader or a great athlete, you got this momentum going for you. And then as soon as you start to think in another way and get infected by some inception, then your manifestation power, your momentum, all that momentum goes towards the offensive. So that's why everybody's equal. Not like the bodies are all equal or the same, but everybody's equal in the sense of like relative, relative temptation, relative light. And it's just like your cup, you know, like if, if you, uh, if you, if you're not heavily melanated, it's just a, that basically you just have a smaller cup to fill, which is awesome. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Relatively speaking, you either have more light and a bigger cup to fill and it's easier to, to get lost in the, the outward the outward things of life because your cup feels so full having such a big cup but once you run that well dry you got a lot to fill up so if you got a smaller cup you know it's easier to it's easier to fill so it's all relative it's your energy is relative to your path and anything that anytime you need stimulation it takes you off the path anytime you ask what time it is you die a little inside so yeah that's that's really about it. I was just saying our temptation is relative and that's really what makes us all pretty much bound together in a sense.